Hi, I'm Max, and my capstone project is the real-time scheduling of cream cheese production. All chemical processes need some sort of scheduler to ensure they can be ran as efficiently as possible. The current field for visualising a dynamic chemical process is very limited and requires a large amount of technical expertise to decipher and create, with many opting for a Gantt chart that once defined is static and makes it very difficult to see how changes to the process would affect the overall runtime. The goal for this project is to make a simpler and more powerful system for creating and managing a chemical process that allows the user to view the current schedule that has been generated with access to control systems, which will update the plant variables. These changes will then be accounted for in the schedule, which will be updated with the predicted timeline and model data that will occur. When development started, it was found that the Aharoa platform could not generate the live data needed for this project. Because of that, the project is now going to be a standalone web app with a Python Flask app backend instead of the original plan. So far, the framework for the project has been developed with a basic front end. The front end polls each supported endpoint, which passes the data to be displayed to the user. Currently, this data isn't being fetched from the optimization model and is instead hard coded, which will be changed in the future. By the end of the project, it is expected that there is a functional web app that uses the existing cream cheese optimization model as a simulation of a live plant to fetch the current run data at a certain time. This data will then be fed into a predictor that generates the expected outcome for the process. All of the generated data is then displayed on the user's screen in an easy to view manner. Once the data has been generated, the user will have a list of control options they can take, such as increase substrate dosage at a certain amount of time to a fermenter runtime, or potentially simulate a fermenter being disabled for a period of time. Any changes to these values will cause the entire visualization to update to account for the changes, which should make it much easier to determine the overall impact of actions.